Hello there, Year One. Today, we're going to be looking at why do we need labels? Ooh. Now, before we start, I have something here. Ooh. This looks like a stick, doesn't it? Do you know what? It's actually not a stick. It could be lots of different things. It could be a soulful clarinet. It could be a magical pencil. It could be an amazing aircraft. It could be many things, my stick. I've got a book I'd like to share with you today. And that's called Not a Stick by Antoinette Portis. Let's have a read, shall we? Not a stick. Hey, be careful with that stick. It's not a stick, it's a fishing rod. And can you see, he's caught a huge shark. Oh. Look where you're going with that stick. What stick? It's my baton for my marching band. Watch where you point that stick. This is not a stick. This is a magical paintbrush creating a starry night. Now, what are you doing with that stick? Oh, this is not a stick. This is a heavy barbell. Lots of weight on there. Don't trip on that stick. I'm telling you, it's not a stick. It's my horse. So, are you still standing around with that stick? This is not, not, not a stick. It's my spear to hunt animals. <gasps> OK, then, what is it? It's my sword to fight dragons. It's my not. A stick. Did you like that? It was good, wasn't it? <laughs> now I want to ask you a question. Why do we need labels? Well, labels give us information. I want you to pause the video here and I want you to have a chat with the person in the room about what labels you can find at home. Did you find lots of different labels at home? There are so many around and they give us so much information. A, labels, a label tells us something about the picture or a thing that we have. Today we're going to use the labels to give us some information about the pictures from the story. Can you remember these parts in the story? Pause the video here and have a talk with the person in the room about each part of the story and each of these pictures. Could you remember each part? Fantastic. Let's see if you were right. Do you remember that first bit where he had the fishing rod? Yes, and he caught that huge shark, didn't he? He had a baton in his marching band. Then he had the paintbrush that painted that beautiful starry night. Then he had a really heavy oh, barbell. Next it was the horse. And then it was a spear. And lastly, it was a sword to fight off that dragon. I want you to remember different parts of the story because we're going to now write a label to label each picture of the story. Here we go. Can you remember that first one? The first picture I have here. That's it. That's a paintbrush. I'm writing my label now. The next one was a 
Bea, that's correct. Well done. In the marching band, that was it. It was a baton. Oh, now that first picture. That was it. It was the fishing rod. You're doing ever so well. Next was the barbell. That was correct. Then became a horse. Well done. And lastly, what was it? A sword. That's right. Now, what I'd like you to do is I want you to complete your worksheet. You have a picture from the story and I want you to write a label for each picture. Now, if you want to, you can add in an adjective. That's a describing word to add some more information to your label. I'm looking forward to seeing your different labels year one. Thank you so much.